Hi, welcome to another video on BandLab. Uh, this video I'm focusing on the uh, gain effect within BandLab. Um, this is a useful little tool to use to raise or lower um, your input volume or your volume in general on your tracks. Um, yeah, let's get into the mixer and have a look at some examples. So here I've been playing around with some guitar tracks with a drum loop and just recording some things and seeing what I can um, do with a few things. So um, with this first one here I've got some chords that I've been playing against a drum beat um, and I haven't done a lot to this one so let's have a little bit of a listen to what I've got here first. Okay, so that's just a guitar track that I've got playing. I had the drum track muted. So in there, um, well with this, should I say first, is you can change the volume. Now if you were to turn this right up, um, you could end up with a little bit of distortion in that particular track, and it's not always the best way to raise the volume of that. Um, I've known students turn up the master um, because their laptop speakers aren't really appropriate, and then when they go and listen back to the song on a different device, um, it doesn't always have the... the greatest impact on what they're doing with the recording so really think about how you're using your volume have you got some good headphones or speakers that you've got your computer connected to because um, sometimes your laptop speakers aren't really the best ones to be listening to so um, we're moving on from that one so next part is the automation this is another way that you can adjust the volumes as you can see I've done some volume adjustments on the first and third track there um, but once you use that it locks the main volume thing and so you can't actually raise or lower the volume of the track um, using the faders again after that anyway okay so let's move into the effects so in here I've got some guitar effects I've got a noise gate an amp um, and a few other things so what you can do is raise the volume on the amp or other effects you can sometimes raise the volume um, but and that can impact on your sound so pick and choose how you do those things um, but to find this gain volume if I come over here under utilities we've got gain and by default it'll be a zeroed out so if I just play that again Okay, nothing's happened to the volume yet. Now, if I bring this down, let's make it obvious and play that again. So the inputs or gain has been dropped right down. So if I bring that up, so up to zero, that will be as normal. If I go past zero to the plus, Okay, so that's brought it up quite a bit in volume uh, just by doing that. You could stack gain upon gain upon gain, but definitely watch your speakers if you're going to start mucking around with doing those things. Um, the next thing you could be thinking about, I've got this gain at the end of my effects chain. Um, in most mixes, you have the gain um, knob on a mixer right at the beginning of the chain, so you can actually move this further along. By having it at the end, it's going to affect the volume or gain on all of the effects that are happening there. So if you have it before certain effects, um, it's going to happen at that point and then the effects are going to happen on top of that once it's done. So think about where you're putting it in your effects chain. Um, let's try the other example I've got here. Let's go and let's mute that one. So this time I've got my first and third track. So with this one I've got some automation. You can see some volumes happening with those. So let's have a little listen to the first and third track. Okay, so I've got my guitar being louder than the drums, then they sort of swap over, bring the drums over, and then I go back to the guitar being louder than the drums. Okay, but you might be having a full mix and you wanted to bring the volume just up a little bit more. I've got heaps of room, I'm not uh, peeking out on those things anymore. So let's go back to that track. Whoops, undo that. That track, so I don't have the gain on that one, or well, I haven't got it switched on. Let's turn that on. So I've added a plus four eight to that one. So let's go back and listen to that guitar part now. Already you can hear that it's brought that up a lot, hot, lot louder. 
let's undo that. I keep clicking things. Now, when it comes to here, it's not going to go much lower than that point, so I'll keep going. So it's gone as low as what I did with the automation, okay? Then when it comes back up to here, it's going to go up to where I've set the new gain. Okay, so it's it's a useful tool um, in bringing up a little bit more volume in your different tracks. Um, just watch out if you've got the automation on um, as to what you're doing it and where you've got it in your effects chain. Okay, so hopefully this has been um, a useful tool to help you get a little bit more volume out of your tracks using this gain um, effect. Um, think about where in the effects chain you might have it. Um, think about if you've got input devices that have their volume at the input instrument. So on the guitars you have volume controls, on your um, audio interfaces you have volume controls. So finding the right balance that suits your needs um, to get the right volume within your recordings and then when you're doing the output um, mix downs you've got the right volumes between all your tracks as well. So um, if you've liked this video definitely hit the subscribe button comment below about any other features you might like to know a little bit more about um, or if you have some further questions about what I talked about um, within this video please comment below as well. Thanks for listening.